Hi, everyone. So welcome to this uh, first webinar in 2022 from the Cash and Wash Technical Working Group. So this webinar will be repeated in different time zones and different language to reach the maximum of national society worldwide. And maybe that's explaining why there is not so many people joining this morning. Uh, next slide, please. So before going further, uh, let's have a quick briefing on the housekeeping and rules. Um, so keep uh, all time your microphone muted unless you are invited to ask a question. You can use the chat box to ask your question anytime. Uh, we will try our best to answer during the webinar. And if not, this will be answered in the FAQ on the Technical Working Group website. We will run some polls during the webinar. The question will appear on your screen and you will have one minute to answer. In case you have several people in front of the screen, one, people, one person can take the lead to answer. Next slide, please. So let's, let's practice the first poll together. So on this poll, you will have two questions to answer. The first question is, what is your background? Are you wash practitioner, cash practitioner, cash and wash practitioner, or other? And the second question is, did you hear, did you hear before about this cash and wash technical working group? So you have one minute to answer to the two questions. And then after that, please introduce yourself in the chat box with your name and your national society or your organization and where you're from where you're based. Okay, thank you. So let's move to the next slide. So the agenda today. Um, so we already started the introduction with housekeeping and rules, introduction of the participant, and soon we will introduce the speakers. And the first part of the webinar will be a presentation of the main achievements of the Cash and Wash Technical Working Group in 2021. Then we will have a presentation of the work streams that have been identified during the roadmap development. And after we will have the presentation of the new organization of the technical working group and how to engage with us. And we will finish by the session of question and answer. So we will only uh, keep the question, not after each part, but at the end of the webinar. Next slide, please. So. Um, just to introduce myself, I'm uh, Ludovic Arnoux. I'm the WASH coordinator for AFRC in Asia Pacific. And I'm also co-chairing this technical working group since the beginning of uh, October 2022. Over to you, Sylvester. Yeah, good morning, everybody. I'm Sylvester Bett. I'm the WASH delegate for the Austrian Red Cross in the East Africa region under the Skybat program. And I'm a member of the uh, Cash and WASH technical working group. Thank you. Over to you, Kastup. Good morning, uh, Ludovic and everyone. Uh, I am Kaustub Kukre. I work with uh, British Red Cross as a program management delegate. Uh, I am a member of the technical working group. Thank you. Thank you, Kaustub. So now let's go for the yearly report. Over to you, Sylvester. Yeah, thank you once again, uh, Ludovic. Um, as you know, the Cash and Wash Technical Working Group was created and uh, started in October uh, 2020 with members from various national societies. Um, IFRC and IECRC. Uh, 2021 was a year of great achievement by all its members. The year reported, uh, the year, yearly report is presenting the progress and the work done by its members. The report and the video presenting the achievements are available on the Technical Working Group website and through the links in this presentation. This report includes elements about uh, the membership of the Technical Working Group and how the information is shared internally among the group. This also includes the main reference documents and how the information was disseminated internally, including uh, the coordination within and outside the movement. There is also a presentation of specific activities, such as the survey to the national societies that was conducted, uh, the mapping and the development of case, uh, the training uh, on the market-based programming for WASH and the roadmap development. Uh, in this webinar, we will not go through all the details, but mainly go through uh, the main achievements and if you want to know more, please have a look at the dedicated report. And this is available, as I said, uh, in the website of the um, uh, Technical Working Group. Uh, next slide. Uh, the membership of the Cash and Wash Technical Working Group included, um, at the beginning, 11 members from the national societies, IFRC and ICRC. In mid of 2021, after the survey of the national societies and the different webinars, the group was extended to 22 members from 10 national societies, IFRC and the ICFC. 
Um, as the members are coming from all places around the world, a dedicated Teams channel uh, hosted by IFRC was used to ensure access anytime uh, to the participants. We have also used participatory tools such as MiroBoard for the uh, subgroup work. Uh, this mainly we've used as we were working in order to, in order to facilitate um, continuous work. We have also monthly meetings on the first Thursday of each month where an update is provided for all members about the progress of all activities from the subgroups and from the core chairs. The work was organized under three identified work streams. Uh, that is knowledge sharing and gathering, uh, guidelines and training programs on WASH and CVA, implementation and partnerships. Um, next slide, please. The work of the technical working group has started by uh, development of the mainstream uh, main reference documents. The first document is the first document is the term of reference of the technical working group. A second version was done in June 2021, taking into consideration the feedback from the cash and peer working group. The second document has been a one page document explaining in short the technical working group. The document has been produced in English, French, Spanish and Arabic. The third document is um, what does cash mean to wash outcomes? This document is intended for both wash and cash practitioners, as well as program managers who want to understand and explore how cash and voucher assistance can support wash outcomes. It is also produced in English, French, Spanish, and Arabic. Three documents will, be, uh, will give you a good idea of the objectives and activities of the technical working group. All are available on the Cash and Wash Technical Working Group website. Next slide, please. One important part of the work of the Technical Working Group is to ensure that the information is available widely to all the national societies. The first way to ensure information is uh, through three different websites. One dedicated website created by the Technical Working Group where you can find information about the Technical Working Group such as the past minutes, the list of members, the documents mentioned in the previous slides, and most importantly, the outputs of the technical working group. You will have also access to various resources such as publications, guidelines, list of websites, training, and upcoming events. There is also contact and frequent asking questions, uh, sections where you can ask a question and consult all previous uh, questions answered. The second one, uh, dedicated cash and wash uh, page on the Cash Hub portal. This page contains uh, the most important documents on cash and wash. And there is also a dedicated page on what's a mission assistant, which includes key elements uh, related to cash and wash. All these three websites are complementary. A second channel of the information dissemination is through webinar webinars like this today. In 2021, we have three times the same webinar at different time zones and different languages to present the technical working group and the documents produced like, what does cash mean for uh, wash outcomes? One introduction webinar in July to present in detail the technical working group to the new members. Um, and one webinar through Skybat, which is a regional wash network and capacity development program in East Africa. Coordination, next slide please. Um, coordination is important within and outside the movement to stay up to date to the latest development of the cash and voucher assistance. The coordination with the movement includes coordination with the cash peer working group, with the WASH advisors on quarterly basis and dedicated meetings with the regional WASH colleagues from MENA, Africa and America regions. The external coordination includes participation to the global WASH cluster technical working group, uh, to the menstrual hygiene management in emergency technical working group and the regional wash in emergency coordination group in Asia Pacific. Um, other activities of the, of the technical working group. Next uh, slide, please. As mentioned before, we will not go through all the achievements uh, for a question of time, and you can have access to the details in full report. Here is a list of activities that we will not go through. The survey to the national societies, the mapping and five case studies under development, the market-based programming for WASH and ECOSYS 
and the roadmap development that will be more discussed in the next part. All these documents, if I mentioned, are available in the websites that I've mentioned above, and you can be able uh, to, to list them. Um, at this point, I, was, I, I welcome um, Pushtum to proceed. Thank you. Next slide. Thank you, Sylvester, and good morning again, everyone. Uh, the technical working group has developed a roadmap for the period 2022 to 2024. The goal of the roadmap, roadmap is to strengthen the movement watch practitioners' understanding and adaptation of using CVA and market-based approaches in watch interventions. This was done through a consultative process between August 2021 and February 2022. The roadmap is organized under three pillars. The first pillar is focused on knowledge and sharing. The second one is on guidelines and trainings, while the third pillar is about implementation and partnerships. Uh, there are two enabling actions. First enabling action is resource mobilization, while the second one is learning and adaptation. These three pillars and two enabling actions lead to the identification of nine different work stream. Each work stream will have its term of reference, which includes the details of the focal point of the work stream, the name of the members, the duration of the work stream, the frequency of the meetings, the objectives, the detailed activities, and finally the outputs. Let's now have a look uh, in detail on the work streams one by one. Next slide, please. The work stream, this first work, work stream is about the state of knowledge on cash and voucher assistance for WASH outcomes. This will be a thematic watch on evidence-based case studies and project documents from the movement and outside. This work stream will include the following activities. As you can see on your screen, the first activity is about review and analysis of documents to identify if they are good for uh, if they are good for uh, further sharing. And the another one is provide identified documents to the communication stream. For each work stream, you have an icon on the right upper corner. This means in that case, uh, there, uh, there is no budget is needed to implement this work stream. Only the member's time is required to implement the activities. Next slide, please. So the second work stream is uh, complementary to the first uh, work stream with the objective to produce more knowledge through the development of new case studies or to support evaluation of projects. The work stream activities will include identification of potential countries, uh, TOR development, consultant selection, follow up with the consultant and the final report. Uh, uh, this work stream will provide report to the communication work stream so that it can further be disseminated. As you can see on this slide, to implement this work stream, we will need funding. Next slide, please. The third work stream is about communication. Communication is an important part of the technical working group, and there is a dedicated work stream for this. The main activities uh, under this work stream uh, includes the, uh, the, de uh, the development of communication strategy, uh, which also includes a section on adequacy, sharing and tracking of information, updating different websites, and development of yearly report. The specific part of the communication with the cash hub and uh, CPWD, uh, CPWG will be continued by the co-chairs. Next, uh, next slide, please. The uh, work stream four is about organizing and conducting webinars. We are conducting today's webinar under this work stream. The activities of this uh, work stream includes update on the technical working group activities, enhance technical working group memberships, and then conduct uh, webinars uh, at regional level on for example, cash and wash or pre-crisis uh, market assessment. Organizing webinar includes preparation, invitation, identification of speakers, et cetera. Next slide, please. As you can see on the slide, the Workstream 5, which focus on trainings, has quite a lot of activities. 
some of the activities are development of a uh, training strategy review competency framework analyze and adopt existing cash and wash trainings develop training pathways for different profiles identify appropriate trainers uh, in the region based on expertise as well as language to run the uh, training of trainers uh, conduct remote training and face to face trainings support the development of cascading trainings meaning support ns headquarters uh, colleagues to roll out trainings at the branch level another example can be support national society to develop memberships uh, uh, mentorship schemes uh, next slide please uh this slide is about uh, the work stream uh, on guidelines this work stream is complementary with the first work stream the activities include a desk review of existing guidelines development and dissemination of guidelines to the specific context of red cross movement and finally review or uh, adoption of existing guidelines and development uh, of new ones as needed next slide please the work stream 7 is about development of pilot project this includes preparation of a uh, how to guide for pilot projects identification of gaps uh, from the case study mapping dissemination of how to guide develop concept notes proposals and partnerships and finally implement uh, and document pilot projects next slide please uh the eighth work stream is uh, about making access to wider audience to the output of technical working group we have the ambition to be more inclusive and give access to all parts of the world that's why for example uh, we are uh, we are conducting translations in spanish french and arabic uh, of this current webinar uh, so this uh, work stream will include the following activities conduct the translation of uh, selected documents such as guidance uh, training manuals or case studies in languages such as spanish french and arabic coordinate uh, with a designer uh, to design the documents following uh, movement guidelines so these are the activities included under this uh, work stream the next slide please uh, the last uh, work stream will be uh, established on the help desk uh, the activities include map the existing technical uh, support resources establish linkages and roles and responsibilities for the support finalize the design of referral system and dissemination that's all for, uh, for the part on the work stream you can put the question in the chat box uh, we will we will keep it for the end let's move now to the organization of the technical working group membership over to you ludovic thank you thank you kustu so if you have any question on the work stream uh, the different work stream let's keep it for the end or you can put it on the chat box so um organization of the technical working group membership so the technical working group is made up of individuals with experience on knowledge of cash and voucher assistance and market based programming and or specialization in wash who are interested and are determined to contribute significantly to the group both with expertise and time to dedicate to group tasks M membership must represent an appropriate mix of ifrc icrc and national societies across the movement aiming also at a good geographical spread membership from national societies implementing cash and wash will be prioritized so each group member is expected to dedicate time to technical working group activities within their working schedule and have a meaningful contribution per month to improve to advance the technical working group activities each member is expected to join dedicated meetings to complete personal contributions reading and attend work stream related activities in an average of one day per month the membership will be divided into two different tiers as you can see on the screen tier a and tier b 
The tier A is for members that are motivated to take more responsibilities in the technical working group. Tier A members will be part of the steering group of the technical working group. Tier B members will only be involved in the activity of the different work streams that have been presented by Costub just before. Next slide, please. So let's go into detail of the two levels of membership. So the tier A membership, as mentioned before, is member of the steering group. A member can be either be a co-chair, the coordinator, or a focal point of a work stream. We will see later what does it mean for this all this position. The focal point can be a focal point of one work stream only. Then also people that are interested for TRM membership, they need to have motivation to become co-chair due to the rotation of co-chair. They should be active in work stream group work with regular attendance to work stream meetings and they should be also active in the steering group with regular attendance to steering group meetings and support the activities and plan of the work stream. People are interested need to have a medium to long-term commitment, meaning minimum one year required. And then they will participate to quarterly cash and wash technical working group meetings. The tier B membership, it's for people that will be is a member of one or two work stream. They will not be focal point of any work stream because being focal point, then you will be tier A membership directly. And the people interested need to be active in the work stream with regular attendance to work stream meeting. And they will also participate to quarterly cash and wash technical working group meeting. Next slide, please. The organization of the steering group. So the steering group is composed with two co-chairs on rotation basis annually, one coordinator, and all the focal points from the nine war stream described before. The co-chair and coordinator will not be focal point for a war stream. They will have their dedicated position. As mentioned, only the a member can join the steering group. And the steering group will have the strategic overview follow-up of the roadmap developed and also the financial management, meaning a monitoring at quarter, on quarterly basis of the objective, milestone, and targets. And the steering group will be the decision maker on priorities for the technical working group. Next slide, please. The co-chair. So there, is, there are two co-chairs in the technical working group. So they will be selected from the members of the steering group. They are selected on voluntary basis. They ensure external coordination. So they are participating to the cash peer working group and also to provide update on the technical work, working group activities on a quarterly basis. They are also participating to the WASH advisor call and they're also providing updates during this call. They're ensuring the coordination with the cash hub for updates, especially on the cash and WASH page. And they are ensuring the technical working group is well on track and monitor if the new structure is doing the job. So they can receive feedback from every member at any time. Next slide, please. The coordinator. So the coordinator is another member of the steering group. So with the new roadmap developed, the creation of this nine work stream, we have the intention to increase the size of this technical working group. So we are advocating to have a coordinator position. The responsibilities of this position will be to ensure internal coordination for the steering group to interact with the different work stream. As it was presented, there is strong link between the different work streams, so there is strong need of coordination. It will have administrative role for the meeting invitation, reporting, etc. And it will ensure that all focal wounds are providing updates 
on design designated online form. And on top of that, he will share the quarterly meeting with all the members of the technical working group. Next slide. So maybe you want to know how a work stream will be organized. So the nine work stream that have been presented earlier will have the same way of organization. They will have one focal point, tier A member, and several members that will be tier B. There is a medium term commitment for the focal point, as mentioned before, like one year to ensure continuity. And the focal point to ensure that he will focus on the work stream cannot be a member of another work stream. Then if you are a member not being focal point, you can join two different work stream maximum. So it, again, it's to uh, ensure that you provide enough input and you are not uh, involved in too many work stream where you cannot, we cannot support. So the focal point will be responsible of the management of the frequency, the timing of the internal meetings for this dedicated work stream. Precise objective deliverables agreed by the steering group will, will also be defined for each work stream. And the focal point will report during the steering group meeting on a monthly basis on their work stream activities. So it will provide updates on a monthly basis. So from now, I hope uh, this uh, presentation was uh, interesting and raised your interest to be part of this technical working group. Uh, ensure also, uh, if you are interested to join this technical working group, that you uh, discuss with your WASH and or cash technical advisor in your national society. The way to apply uh, to the technical working group is through the website. The link will be provided in a follow-up email too. So we will move uh, to next slide with, with a poll before going to the question of answer, where we would like to know if you are interested to be part of this technical working group. And then in this case, which, which tier do you want to join? So you have one minute. So normally the pool appear on your screen. Three, four more. Let's give 10, 20 seconds more. Oh, sorry, Lodovic. Uh, it's Rodney from Samuel Red Cross. Could you explain just a brief explanation what the, the difference between tie, what, tie A and tie B, please? Tier A is if you want to be part of the management of the technical working group. Tier B is if you are interested to join the work stream to support the activities. Yeah, you Thank can you. See on the, you can see on the slide. Okay, so I will stop the poll. Let's look at... Uh, the result. So, um, so we have eighteen people, eighteen persons that are interested to join. So that's that's great. Uh, that's very positive. Um, and then uh, we have uh, eleven persons that would be interested for tier A and fifteen for tier B. Okay, that's good. Uh, so now let's move to the next slide, which is the question and answer session. So we are ready to to answer to any question you might have now about uh, the membership or any other question related to the technical working group. Feel free to ask also, we have uh, uh, three members here. We have a specific question to Kostub or Sylvester or to me as member. Feel free to do it now. I have a question, please. Yes, go ahead. Um, first, um, has there been a um, structure uh, draft, like a draft structure uh, developed? And also, um, it has also been has there also been a, um, a terms of reference for this uh, technical working group? Yes. So we have defined term of reference the version three, so from 2022, that that is including this new structure. So 
the term of reference were validated by the Cash Peer Working Group and um, IFRC Geneva colleagues, meaning uh, what has been presented is the tentative of the new structure. Uh, so that's why we are opening for new membership to increase uh, the number of participants. And it's also linked to the development of the roadmap. So the roadmap, with the roadmap development, we have identified nine work streams. That's why we want to uh, also, uh, we took experience from the first year and a half of the existence of the technical working group, where it was organized a bit differently. And we, uh, we, we just defined this new structure with all uh, this analysis and also this validation from colleagues uh, to ensure uh, we can have really these two differences of engagement of people that are, some people that are not interested to be part of the management of the technical working group, uh, part of the coordination, part of the uh, strategic direction. Uh, some members are interesting just for some topics. So for example, maybe you are interested for the training topic because you see a direct interest for your national society. Uh, so that's why we have created these two tiers uh, organization. Did I answer the question? Yeah, perhaps I can just add, Ludovic, that also this uh, TOR is available in the website of the Technical Working Group, and therefore, if you visit there, you can be able to see uh, the development and the progress um, uh, of the TOR and, of course, the work streams. Yes. So, allow me. I will. I will. I will share uh, the, the screen of the Technical uh, Technical Working Group website. Um, just to give you, and we have a bit of time. Uh, so th this is the technical working group. So here you have different parts where you can find all the information like the past meeting, the webinar we did last year, the different outputs. Um, so on the technical outputs, you can find the document we mentioned. You can find also the survey to the National Society that was done last year, mapping and case study that still ongoing, the training development. Um, then there is also access uh, for the contact page and the FAQ. Uh, so that's interesting if you want to know more. So there is also identified questions from, from last year. And the contact, uh, like, here yes, this is to use the contact form if you want to apply to the membership. So here, there is a direct link that will lead you to a online form. Then there is this part where you can find many resources, bibliography, so it's reference document from the movement and externally that, that will help you to have better understanding on the cash and voucher assistance and WASH. You have also the website, the, the, so we make reference to other website, the different training, existing training or coming training. So the course you can have online, upcoming event, and also what was done, uh, the wash market assessment that was done in, uh, in Nepal and in Kenya. This is, um, this is where you can find really a lot of information. Um, in, in the website. And feel free also to, to use the contact form or to, to contact me directly as I guess you have my contact now. Okay, where is the term of reference? So the term of reference. Uh, yeah. So the term of reference is on the second page about this technical working group so you can find the latest term of reference and in this term of reference um, you will have the new structure uh, the link to the technical work group so it was already shared in the invitation you have received so people that are interesting to be a member can already apply so the the next step uh is um, to have the next meeting on the 7th of April. We would like to uh, have to include in the next meeting um, the new members because then we will have further discussion 
uh, to all the people coming um, to see if um, they want to be uh, tier A or tier B and which working which work stream they are interested in. So, yes. Um, Ludovic, there are two questions in the chat box. Okay. The okay. The, I can see we we'll with you sending the recording to all of us. Actually, I will not send the recording to you, but the recording will be available on the Technical Working Group website. So I encourage you to go to have a look to the recording. Like that, you can also have a look to the Technical Working Group other pages. Um, does it also include reports from other national societies? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe Rodney, do you want to elaborate your question? Because I'm not sure to understand your question. Oh, sorry, Lodovic. Um, I, I mean by report, like um, a good practice, like from other, like what has been done by other national societies linking to this uh, working group, like um, ha has there uh, national societies who have, you know, involved in this working group uh, been carrying out activities in the areas of cash and wash and like w what are some of the good practice? I mean, lessons learned pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Um, so the objective is, uh, yes, to share all of this. So, for example, uh, on the, the, the website, we are sharing the two uh, PCMA uh, pre-crisis market assessment studies done uh, in uh, Kenya and, uh, and Nepal. So this is uh, an example where we had activities with the National Society. So we're sharing the result. Uh, online. The first period, uh, and, and also the team now is still working on five different case studies uh, from five different countries. We didn't go through, but if you have a look to the full yearly report, you will see. So there is uh, Philippines, Nepal, Kenya, uh, Bangladesh, and I'm missing maybe the last one, sorry. Um, meaning uh, we are, we, through the case study, we will, we will highlight um, um, lesson learned, good practices from national society. So that's part of the plan. Uh, but on the first year and half, uh, we were focused more to develop the technical working group because we start from zero. So it was more to develop the internal process, meaning the term of reference, the way we work, um, also uh, the core document. So the, the document that have been presented by Sylvester, what does cash mean for wash outcomes? So that we, we worked quite several months on this document. So now we have all the same understanding. And now with the extension of the working group, we want to expand the activities. So that's, for example, we will include pilot projects at country level, and we already get some funding. We will include uh, new case studies uh, and we will also, we have mentioned, we will do a thematical watch. So if your national society is developing activity around this, we are really keen to receive the documentation and then we will be able to share to wider audience. Um, did I answer to, to the question? Thank you. Perhaps, perhaps I will add something. Uh, if, if, if you know of national societies who are planning to do um, activities around cash and wash, please let us know because then we can reach them out and uh, try to have them as part of our learning uh, documentation. Thank you. Thank you, Sylvester. That's part of our objective to, to, to be recognized as um, a medium to share all this information, but also to support national society. So uh, we, 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 we can have different level, uh, maybe national society that are starting on this, maybe it's a national society that are experts. Uh, we are here to support all. And also, we want also to support development of peer-to-peer -peer exchanges. So we know that in the movement, sometimes we are doing things specifically. So that's very important to have the, the, the feedback from national society and then to give ID to other national society. Okay, Ludovic, there is one question from Hans. Uh, he's from German Red Cross. Uh, he need a confirmation whether the TOR that we have on the website is the version three TOR or uh, it's, uh, it's some the, other it, version. It's it's the version three, so it's uh, it's the 
if you go to the page uh, about this technical working group, then it's the second um, document. And let me share again the screen. Okay. So if you are here, so just go on the landing for the second heading about this technical working group. The document is here. This is the second. So then it will lead you to a Dropbox document. And the Dropbox, it's the Cash and Wash Technical Works version 3, 2022. Okay, so uh, if no other question, anyway, feel, uh, if you have a question coming uh, this afternoon, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, next week, feel free to use the, the contact FAQ. Uh, don't direct directly to me just go to this contact page uh, because then anybody of the technical working group um, will be able to, to to have it and then also it can help to generate the frequent ask question so um, next slide Jesse please um, we uh, we want really to thank uh, all of you for joining today um, the website uh, link uh, is, will be repeated there and uh, for the people that are interested uh, please try to uh, save the date for the 7th of april because you might receive an invitation um, after you have registered uh, your interest to be a member of this technical working i can see some more hand is up i don't know whether it's an old hand or uh, he's asking something yeah presentation will be shared on the website presentation recording yeah so thanks for uh, costume uh, sylvester and jesse for um, your support today thank have you have a good day